Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Focus Lighting and Fixtures Limited Q3 and 9 month FY24 results conference call hosted by Kiran Advisors. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask question after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Ms. Chandni Chandni from Kiran Advisors. Thank you and over to you, ma'am. Thank you. On the behalf of Kiran Advisors, I welcome you all to the conference call of Focus Lighting and Fixtures Limited. From management side, we have Mr. Amit Sheet, Managing Director, Mr. Tarun Uddeshi, CFO. Now I hand over the call to Mr. Amit Sheet. Over to you, sir. Very good afternoon to all the investors who have joined this call, and uh, I hope uh, you guys have all got the results. But just to brief, we have done uh, 57 crores uh, for this quarter with an average back of 9.6 crores. uh this is uh, this quarter as compared to last year it was 61 crore odd and uh back was 10.6 odd crore uh this time uh instead of just going on the question and answers immediately uh what we will do is because a lot of happening in our company so i would like to divide it if everybody is okay uh i like to divide it into two halves Then we will just brief you first what we are doing, where we are heading to, <coughs> each segment wise, which will give a lot of clarity. Uh, that can be first half, and second half that can be a question and answer, or we can immediately start with question and answer, whatever everybody is comfortable with. Uh, Kiran, uh, Kiran advisors, if you guys can advise, uh, if we can go for. I just brief on vertical wise and explain what is going on, and then uh, go on question and answer. Is that fine, or investors will prefer to have question and answer? Sir, it would be preferable if you give the brief first. It is okay if I give the brief first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, guys. Uh, I'll start uh, segment wise without wasting any time because we have a very short duration. And uh, what we are doing segment wise and how we are growing in those segment, I think everybody is interested in knowing that. Uh, so I start with retail, which is our core, which is our strength. And uh, retail, uh, retail India was uh, slow uh, for uh, nine months, and but at the same time. Uh, we had some exciting exposure in retail in Middle East and in Europe. Also, <laughs> so I'll first go with that. Uh, in Europe, is or till uh, Middle East is concerned, we were we were mainly working with two brands: Center uh, Center Point for large volumes, uh, Center Point, which is a landmark group, and Splash, which is also a landmark group. Uh, we have tied up with two more brands there, uh, which is which is equal size. Uh, which will exactly help us in doubling the turnover, which is Home Center and Home Box. They have just given the approval and they have started working with us. Uh, we have also we have first time in our history uh, an Italian company called Swizer. They have tied up with us exclusively, and we are now going to be OEM with them. <laughs> we have signed an exclusive contract where we will manufacture in India. And supply it to them worldwide. Swizer, just for information, is one of the largest executors for retail industry for <coughs> hypermarket and supermarkets in Europe. They have businesses also in US, Canada, or uh, Middle East. The first uh, out of which the first order is somewhere around uh, 1.8 crores, which we have already received and which is on the way under this contract. So this is first thing. It will be. Uh, we will be OEM to them, uh, to Swizer Group. On the margin size, uh, in spite of being OEM, we are still maintaining our gross margin of somewhere around 40 to 45 percent uh, with Swizer. Uh, one more thing on the retail side, 
uh, we have a very exciting technology that has come in, uh, wherein it will help uh, retailers to save somewhere around 30 to 40 percent on OPEX, that is on the running cost, and uh, we have already started showing them, giving them demos, and we have got very, very exciting response from them. We are further improving that technology to an extent where we will be uh, able to save on OPEX by 50%. This will not only help retailers, but it will also help focus to uh, improve their margins because this is a patented technology uh, where we have invested very heavily and where we are introducing it for the retailers, not only in India, worldwide, especially in Middle East and in Europe and European markets. And Pfizer will play a very, very important role in this because they have very large volume. Annual buying of Pfizer is somewhere around 2.5 million of lights uh, from uh, from the manufacturers, and we expect at least for the first year to get a million to one and a half million business from Pfizer. This is a uh, retail part of what we are doing. On the uh, home home part, uh, we have already executed Bangalore Experience Center. We are starting with Hyderabad Experience Center. We are opening one more experience center at Lower Padel, which is the largest, biggest one, which is 4,500 square feet. We have bought the space outright. We will be shifting our office also to Lower Padel in Naman Midtown. And that will be hub for, that will be a center hub for India, where from all over the country people will come and uh, look at the technologies what we are selling there. One more exciting thing is we have, uh, we are opening an experience center also in Middle East with a company called BMTC. I'll come to BMTC later on because BMTC is just not working with us for detail. Uh, BMTC is also working on very large infrastructure projects with us. Uh, so, uh, we are opening Hyderabad, we are opening uh, Bangalore, we are opening Bombay, we are opening Dubai. These are the four in pipeline. Uh, we are also looking for uh, aggressively, we are looking at Delhi also, Delhi and Pune. Uh, home is rapidly growing. Uh, home is, uh, next year we, we see that it will be almost 50 to 60% of the retail uh, business what we are doing. And that is one of the reasons why we are investing very heavily on home sector. Third sector, uh, infra and outdoor, I'll mix this too because both are interconnected. Uh, we did uh, Surat Fort, uh, we had given this information last year that we were bidding for Surat Fort and we got the uh, order for Surat Fort. Because of Surat Fort, now we have the eligibility to work on large projects with government, especially in Gujarat and Maharashtra. Gujarat has got uh, 600 crores of projects only in travel and uh, only in tourism, vertical, wherein uh, we are bidding for uh, those projects. We are expected at least to get somewhere around 60 to 80 crore of business this year only from Gujarat government. These are expectations uh, because we are eligible for the same. And this is very, very exciting uh, for us. Uh, this will be mainly 3D projection mapping and outdoor lights. Till outdoor lights are concerned, uh, we are working on development in-house. We were trading till, till date. We are working with some European companies and uh, we were trading here. But uh, last year we invested heavily. Uh, it is first time in the history of focus. What we have done is we have taken a uh, worldwide exclusivity with the uh, technology company who has designed and developed this technology, which is a very unique one. They also applied for the patent and we are taking worldwide patent on this technology. And we have signed an agreement between ODU, uh, which is an Australian company, and focus writing wherein ODU will only supply to focus and not to any other company uh, around the world. That is an exclusive agreement. The reason for this exclusivity is that because the technology is so unique, this will be very, very disruptive for outdoor industry. And uh, this technology is not available today in Europe, US, or any, any anywhere in the world. So that is the reason we have we have gone ahead and taken exclusivity because we see an exponential growth uh, once we come out with the product for this. Now the question arises is when we are coming out with the product. So we have already started designing on the on the product. Uh, we are expected in a year's time we will be completing the outdoor profile 
completely and we will be introducing it uh, to the industry. Uh, that is what is happening in uh, outdoor and infra. One more thing, we are the only Indian company. Uh, we've got two large projects right now. One is Lothal, that is from Data Projects, uh, which we have been already awarded. Uh, we are not sure whether it will be done in this quarter or it will go to next quarter, but we've got the purchase order. Uh, we are very proud to inform you guys also that we got Gohati Airport. Uh, uh, it was it was given to focus from uh, Adani Group. So that is that is one more development happened. Uh, I'm also very proud to inform that we are the only company uh, to uh, to be bidding only Indian company to be bidding for Mumbai Airport. It's the only local company who is bidding. There are three companies approved. Uh, two are European brands and one is a local Indian brand which is focus writing. And the values are very high. Somewhere the estimated value of uh, total Bombay project, uh, Bombay airport project will be coming to 40 to 60 crore, somewhere between that. That is phase one. There are four phases. It will be going phase wise. The first phase they want to execute it by August because they want to open the runway and they want to start with the first phase. So this will certainly come in uh, next year. Uh, this is what we are doing in outdoor or uh, I completed retail outdoor railways. Uh, railways, uh, we were waiting for approvals. We finally got approval for three products. Uh, all put together seven products, we have got the approval. So now railways is becoming aggressive. We have also got an approval for a product which was specially designed for Vande Bharat, uh, reading lights where they were facing a lot and lot of issues. And we, we've designed with a German designer called 2D, 3D, Hogamia, and they love the technology we have given them. It has gone on the testing purpose. Once the testing is done, then the business will start for Vande Bharat. Today, uh, we are talking about some 700 Vande Bharat over a period of two to three years time, which government wants to come out with. So that can be one, one single segment where we'll be getting large orders. Uh, once the approval process is done, so this is about railways. Railways also we have got approval for their regular product line. And by April, May, June, uh, we will have approval for most of the products with railways. So now we will be able to get large volumes for railways. This is the third segment. Last but not the least, uh, trade. We were never a trade company. I have always maintained that we are a project company and we don't have anything in our DNA to do trade. But uh, since trade is a very large volume, typically your companies like the list, this car tables, what they do. Uh, and we were seriously thinking how we can disturb the industry and what we can bring something on the table where we can have with our limitations, with our uh, very small amount of network, how we can still capture the market here. So we have identified one company uh, and that company we consider as Apple of uh, trade. Uh, they have a lot of disruptive and uh, excellent technology, which we uh, we were amazed to see the amount of thought process in product design technology which has gone into each segment and how far they can compete. We are seriously discussing with them. I'm not able to say that how things are going forward, uh, but uh, if all goes well, uh, fine, then we will be acquiring those companies and we will we'll be into trade business also. Uh, so this is this are overall four verticals uh, which we've been focusing on, and I will now take question and answers from each individual. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handset while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. First question is from the line of Parikshit Kavra from PKD Advisors LLP. Please proceed. Hi, uh, hi. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so, I just wanted to understand first. Uh, you mentioned that Swizer was a 
uh, 1.5 million uh, business that is possible in the first year. Uh, when you said that, was it number? Was it in terms of dollars? Was it in terms of number of lights? And if it is in terms of number of lights, then can you give it a, a, a dollar value? Yeah. So uh, what I meant was, so uh, their total purchase currently, uh, uh, they were working with some manufacturer who was an OEM to Swiser, and their total purchase is somewhere around 2.5 million. USD. Sorry, my bad. I didn't uh, mention USD, euros, or Indian rupees. It is in USD. Okay. And this is a this is an estimation what they have given. And today the contract is uh, over, and they have appointed us as their OEM. So what we are expecting, uh, it always takes some time where you can uh, reach the hundred percent value. Uh, I I. So that is the whole idea why we said that will be somewhere between 1 million to 1.5 million for the first year and that is in USD. Got it. And when we say year, are we talking about uh, this financial year, next financial year, mm-hmm. calendar year? The contract is just signed. So okay. it will be next financial, but we are, we have already executed out of that year. So this is an estimation what they have given us. But mm-hmm. uh, to back it up, they have already given us the first single order for the single store where the single store is tuning to somewhere around 1.6 to 1.8 crores. Indian rupees. Got it. Uh, next, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, I just wanted to understand, is it possible for you to share the revenue split between these four verticals, retail, home, and franchise <coughs> for this quarter? That, will, that we will share it later on. No, if that is all right with you. That's fine. Yeah, we will send it by email uh, to you guys. Oh, okay. It is already there in the investor presentation. We already shared it. Uh, it so is all, and it is already there in the investor presentation and honestly I don't have the numbers uh, uh, in my mind. I am not yeah. clear in the investor presentation, maybe I missed it, but please do send it over email. Uh, the same confusion happened last time as well, but that's fine. And lastly, uh, you said that uh, Gujarat also you're expecting 60 to 80 crores worth of business. Again, this is for next financial year? Yes, uh, Sura's so quote has just completed from our mm-hmm. side. We have to give them a completion certificate. So mm-hmm. now we are eligible uh, mm-hmm. to bid for Till last year, Focus was not eligible to bid for some large projects, intra projects, mm-hmm. with government. Because government, you need eligibility. Mm-hmm. The eligibility comes in terms of experience, turnovers, company turnovers, and single order turnovers. So, all this has been done uh, thanks to uh, good, uh, to the support what we executed. Mm-hmm. And because we are working very closely, we've been meeting them. And uh, this are the, they have total 600 crores for this year in pipeline uh, mm-hmm. and we are expecting that at least we get somewhere around 60 to 80 crores. Got it. So between this Mumbai airport, Guwahati airport, uh, next financial year for infra uh, vertical should be quite a big jump. Would that be a fair assessment or would maybe not all of it could happen next year? Yeah, absolutely right and uh, our focus is on infra. So mm-hmm. even uh, what we are doing it for uh, Gujarat government that also comes in infra. Hmm. Okay, uh, so infra, you know what is the growth in our country. Yeah. And uh, there are only 16 airports that Adani has. Hmm. Okay, uh, they have come out with two airports and both the airports, we are the front runner. We've got one other already, we've been awarded. Bombay is a big chunk. Uh, it hmm. will be uh, going on for coming two to three years time because it is done in phase wise. And it's, it's one of the largest value the industry will see. Okay. Hmm. The first first phase is still somewhere between 40 to 60 crores. Okay. So, yeah. there are four phases of Bombay Airport. So, you can understand what the value we are talking about. First phase will be executed in next financial year hmm. because we want to open the runway. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, we are the only Indian company. So, infra, yes, it is going to grow. Infra in terms of metros, in terms of bullet trains, in bullet train stations, in terms of airports. In terms of township, urban areas, yeah, garden parks, city projection mapping. So those are the areas. Uh, so we are just not not focusing on only on airports and railway stations. What we are focusing on development of urban areas. So for example, we are now doing a development for smart poles. Okay, where government get a lot of information. Okay, if somebody is uh, breaking the law in in terms of over speeding, in terms of lane cutting, if there is an accident. Uh, real-time information to the government. So those are the areas where we are working smart cities. Like it's a pet project of of PM Modi. 
any smart cities you need this type of smart poles where you get real time information of traffic and all this information comes to light to the poles or uh, red uh, light poles where all this information there are cameras there are sensors which is all this information to the government real time so this is an area where we are working but those areas yeah it probably smart poles and all we are developing it will take another one one and a half year and then we will be fixing for it but currently what we are put are we're doing is more fun facade and landscape got it and and on the railway is uh, you know uh, uh, with no part of the management the the uh, process with the railway approval was taking its own sweet time but this time round it seems like it's a lot more in control are we expecting uh, you know uh, uh, are we a lot more confident that next year our railway business will just now uh, mm-hmm. you know Good. Yeah, now, see, now we have got approvals and uh, they are really looking at us as a serious player. See, railway, railway, uh, of course, the procedure is very lengthy, very complex. Hmm. And also, uh, our interest was that uh, we don't bid into the product where it is a price war. Hmm. We are not a company to bid for a price war. And the volumes are very large with railways. Our intention was that we, we introduce certain technologies and railways. Which will take them more time than expected. But if they improve, if they approve those technologies, then we have a sort of monopoly with them for a few years. For example, Vande Bharat, the company who designed Vande Bharat is the only single player today in the industry who is supplying it because no no company has it. But otherwise, if you see in railway, like uh, other old trains, there are 16 players or 20 players who are supplying the same. Like everybody is fighting on the price. Hmm. Price approval and all those things. So that, that's where we come in. So our whole intention was, uh, and this was the first project where we said that okay, we will design, we will develop, we will incur cost because railway is not doing. This. We will take all the risk. But, but there, there was, was no two. There was a two level approval, right? One where we can only bid for ten percent or fifteen percent of the uh, of the of the bid value, and then there is if we get fully approved, then it's hundred percent. So are we now in the fully approved list? So currently for the regular product. Yeah, uh, out of seven to nine products, we have got full, uh, fully approved. So now we can bid for eighty percent. Not twenty uh, percent was for development vendors, and eighty percent for also approved vendors. But when you are developing exclusively something for railway, then this norm does not come into picture. You are playing hundred percent. Got it. Understood. All right, I'll come back in the queue. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Rahul Arukandati from Vista Investments. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, it's okay, sir. Uh, my question is on all. Thank you. Before we move to the next question, a reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. Next question is from the line of Yashwanti from Cogen Finvest. Please proceed. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity. Just want to understand what is the size of our, what would be the size of our airport contract in terms of the financial. I already gave the value. Uh, Guwahati is a smaller airport where our value was somewhere around uh, 8.6 or 8.8 crores. Uh, Bombay Airport. The first phase value is somewhere on somewhere between 40 to 60 crores. Why I am giving you two figures somewhere between 40 to 60 crores is because we are still in a bidding process. We are uh, so once everything is finalized, uh, technical everything is approved, quantities are approved, then the final figure will come. But today the estimated figure is somewhere between 40 to 60 crores. Okay, and that could be an upward value. It's it's phase one. Bombay Airport, what we are bidding today is phase one, that are four phases in Bombay Airport. So if you multiply, probably not all the phases will be so big, but somewhere we are expecting that the overall lighting project will be somewhere around 150 odd crores. Okay. If you take very pessimistic figures. Yeah. Okay. So same thing I also wanted to understand in case of your railway. So now we are approved uh, suppliers of few of the things. We are also bringing for this Vande Mart, uh, Vande Bharat trend. So, now. so over the period of two to three years, what kind of uh, opportunity you see in terms of numbers on the railway side? See, uh, railway, the, the only hiccup is that the processes are very, very complex and time-taking. Okay, mm-hmm. once we are approved, 
uh, we see that at least uh, it will contribute to not if not anything more but 20 to 35 percent of the uh, value of focus in coming coming one and a half two years time yeah okay so uh Recently, we are supplying the middle middle east. So, how we expanding our presence in some uh, regions in the overseas market? Ah, uh, so middle east. Ah, uh, thank you for asking this question. I missed out on this. Ah, uh, middle east. We have tied up with a company called BNTC. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, BNTC is one of the largest group. Ah, uh, they are not only into lighting, but a lot of other services. Ah. Uh, and lighting is one of the important verticals of bntc bntc does large infrastructure projects uh, they have taken a very valuable order for saudi airport mm-hmm. uh, uh, which is running in few or uh, some i think it is uh, 9 million usd or something like that and uh, we are the first indian company where uh, they wanted to tie up with us they are opening an experience center in dubai Uh, for which I'm going to uh, on Sunday and finalizing that. So they are going to invest. We are not investing. Mm. And they are also opening an experience center for Focus in Saudi because Saudi the infrastructure growth is uh, phenomenal. It's like coming ten years. It is India and Saudi IT where the real growth is coming from. And uh, it's it's like uh, I consider this as as a uh, rising at the right time. The major chunk of retail business was coming from Saudi to us, and with the help of DNTC, not only retail in Saudi because there are a lot of local players in retail where we were not able to uh, service. Now because of DNTC has got their own office and uh, experience center, we will be able to service them. Not only that, but because uh, we are becoming very strong in outdoor lighting, we have already we have already introduced one set of outdoor lights. And we have got a fabulous response. And after looking at, we participated in Dubai exhibition, uh, light middle east, and that's why BNTC said that we need to work with you guys. And we are amazed to have see the technology what you guys have. Mm-hmm. And uh, with the infrastructure growth in middle east, especially in Saudi, I think, mm-hmm. and we doing the development in outdoor. Okay, with the technology what we are proposing, we should get a sort of monopoly, and with their connection. Like their connections okay. are, they are they are they are one of the largest groups in the in Middle East. Okay, that is really great, sir, and congratulations. For yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very big. Uh, we are very excited. Uh, how things will shape up with the support of BMTC. Okay, so I um, said that we are also sending a uh, few um, a few chunk uh, of rupees and you know, uh, developing more of your expenses in the various part of the country. So, what is your plan, uh, uh, capex on this, and uh, when they would be operating? Sorry, uh, you are talking about retail. Yeah, the the expense center which you are talking about that you are planning to open few expense centers in. Uh, so, uh, Bangalore is Bangalore. Uh, we are opening it this month. By end of the month, uh, we will uh, we will open it. Uh, Low Peril, we have just bought the property. It is an outright. It is not on rent. To reduce the cost, uh, what we are doing is. Uh, We are working uh, very smartly in this industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, to reduce the cost, what we are doing is like you know when a designer comes, architect or interior designer comes, normally he is not just looking for lighting. Yeah. Any any whether he is building up an office or whether he is building up a home, there are a lot mm-hmm. of other services required. Automation is required. Windows are required. A uh, lot of things are required. So what we have done is we have tied up with two other brands. Okay, mm-hmm. they are they are not competitors of to us, but they are they complement. So one is an automation company, okay, and one is a window company. So wherever there is an office space or a home space, you need windows and you need automation for high end lighting. So they are complementing each other and they are reducing our cost. And this is an tie up which we are taking it to all the places in India. So Hyderabad also we have the partnership with them. Lakshmi when we opened we have partnership only with Window. So we were setting the cost because those were all lease agreements, and our our cost goes down. To, okay. And even even they share the cost on capex. So whatever the design cost, interior cost, what we incur, okay, they okay. share the cost with us. So our cost is reduced by 
or 40 to 50 percent balance has been won by them by two companies okay an average cost average cost to to uh, give you a ballmark figure average cost come to a uh, crore crore and a half depending on the size of the uh, uh, what we are identifying and we are doing it but it is not affecting our balance sheet purely because we have two more partners and mm-hmm. because advantage what we get is everybody has got certain wavelength and connections in the industry uh, we are comfortable with 10 architects. We are comfortable with another 10 architects. But when they come in, okay, they introduce each other. Right. So just to give you an example, uh, we were, uh, this window guy, uh, they were working with a company called Garnet. They have been 600 hospitality projects in India. We don't know them. They introduced us. And with, with their help, we did the first execution for Reliance Hospitality Business in Jamnagar. Okay. Okay, it was a high value, very profitable for us. We had almost a gross margin of 70 to 80 percent on our, wow. uh, on that project. Yeah. But this is how the synergy works and this is where, uh, you know, uh, the collaboration works. Yes. And it's yes. a big yes. yes. for all three companies. Yes, very good, very good and great strategy. Uh, and so, what is your plan uh, spend on the marketing and the branding of the products for probably, probably for the FI24 or probably for the next two years? You may have See, mainly uh, we don't need uh, marketing uh, when we are working B2B and we are a B2B company till date. Okay. Uh, it is, there is a set of architects and interior designers where we send them uh, regularly updates, we invite them. Uh, for a cocktail and dinner parties uh, every fortnight or uh, we do on a regular basis. And idea why we are opening so many experience centers, we wanted to test waters first in home segment. Whether we can build a brand in home segment, whether companies will appreciate the technology what we have, individuals will appreciate it. And once we got once we got that confidence, now we are going very aggressively this year. Uh, opening four to five experience centers we 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 will become the largest players in home segment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, today uh, we are doing who's and who's home in this country, mm-hmm. and they are a high value. They are not low value. We don't do a ticket size of five lakhs and ten lakhs. Our average size is somewhere between fifteen lakhs to one crore. Okay. That's an average size. What we are doing. Okay. Now, if you do hundred hundred homes. Okay, with, with the type of infrastructure what they are living, that, that itself comes to somewhere around 40, 50 crore rupee business. It's just 100 homes. Okay. It is not a task. So we are looking on those, those ways, you know, and that is the reason we have been investing very heavily. In terms of marketing, we are going very aggressively on social media. We have appointed a professional agency and, uh, uh we are, we are going ahead with them and we are, we, we just started with social media marketing. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, those those are the platforms where we are doing it. We are also doing a lot of podcasts for laymen to understand what are the what are the do's and don'ts. So yeah, we are working very hard on that. There is a separate team who is working uh, hard on that. Okay. So, uh, uh, what is your experience in uh, you know participating in exhibitions like uh, AC Canada? Uh, see. Uh, it's a brand building exercise. I would not say that it's a, uh, it turns out to the revenue immediately. No exhibition, uh, gives revenue overnight. Okay. But the exhibitions are brand building and you get profit over a period of time. Your presence, your technology, uh, should be shown to companies and individuals. Okay. And the best medium is exhibitions. Like light middle is to be participated after four years and we tied up with BNTC. They got confidence with us. ASEC when we did in India, okay, we, we had gone all out doing ASEC. We had invited some 60 designers on companies for to come and stay here and to experience what we are doing. We had a gala uh, evening with them. Okay, the whole idea was that the, we formed that wavelength. We have, it's a, it's a PR activity, honestly. Yeah. And, uh, it, it gives us, in the whole business is on trust and confidence. If this company can do it, if you give them a job, they will execute in a fine way, nice way. We will get service from them, and that is what we are trying to do. So exhibitions are to to make it easy. Exhibitions are very very important for us, and uh, whenever so we don't we won't be doing exhibitions every year. 
will be doing alternate year because we are not traders. We we manufacture, we design, we develop technology. So every two years we have something uh, in a large. We we are able to do some new technology. It's not possible that every year we'll be coming out with some new technology. It takes some time. So next year again we'll be participating. Okay. Yeah. And one more question I just wanted to understand is uh, how much time normally it takes for a company to develop any new uh, innovative product. Uh, this is one. And how uh, can you just elaborate on your launch which has been done in nine, last nine months? How much time it takes for a company to new develop a product? Uh, it really okay. depends from where we are starting. If we are starting from scratch, okay, from developing from optics to a complete product, it might take one, one and a half years time or sometimes even two years. Once optical technologies are developed, electronics are developed, it might take three to six months. So the rollout is fast. The mm-hmm. first program takes a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Like outdoor we started last year. Okay, it's okay. almost one year. And we'll be introducing this year. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's approximately one and a half, two years. But once we roll out one program, then other other programs, it becomes much more faster. Because we have learned from our mistakes. We know what we are doing. It's easy because everything is organized now. The infrastructure is there. We have to just uh, develop it. Go for two lanes. Okay. I think whenever we develop any new product, is there any certification or any certification or any authority from which we need to get it approved? How is the process for the new product development? The whole industry, a professional industry is working on certifications. And that's where uh, we get a very big advantage. Uh, we have our own NABL accredited lab. So okay. most of the most of the tests we can do in our factory and it is approved all over the country and even worldwide, except for US, because it's an NABL accredited lab. So whatever certification we produce, it cannot be challenged. There are certain special certifications, for example, when we are doing business in Saudi or, or Kuwait or in US, then you need some special certifications like UL, Sazo, Kukaj. And those certifications we anyway get for our product. So whenever we design any new product, we ensure that all certifications are in place. Any government job, if you don't have the certification, there are very good chances. Not very good chances, you will not be able to pay also. And certifications are expensive. And it's a TTS project. Uh, okay. Process. Yeah. Welcome back in future. Welcome back in Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of people waiting, so it's better. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Participant to ask a question, you may press star and one. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to ensure that management is able to address questions from all the participants in the conference, please restrict your questions to two per participant. If you have any follow-up questions, you may rejoin the queue. Next question is from the line of Mohit Jain from Hexagon Assets. Please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, hi, Moet. Uh, hi. Uh, I have this one question on this company, Focus Lighting. I guess it's based on US. Is it true? Sorry, it is based on US. What US. I uh, I, so, if we search for US, Focus Lighting, so our company name is Focus Lighting and Pictures. But there's a company named Focus Lighting. Uh, it's okay, that's recording it may be as well. It may be some different company. I've never looked at. Yeah. I'm really sorry for so that. So what I'm what so okay. Uh, so what I'm getting from here is, if plan to take the company global, so there will be a main uh, issue because there are two focus lighting companies. So do you have our name is registered focus lighting and pictures is a registered company, and okay. wherever we go, our brand is also registered. So. We were not getting focus lighting the way back when we started in 2005. We were getting focus lighting and pictures. Uh, so that is the reason we, we registered as focus lighting and pictures. And yeah, so we don't have uh, One last question. Most of your bands are uh, sold or marketed by the name of Plus or Focus? Focus is a holding company. We have uh, three brands under Focus. We have Plus, uh, Plus, 
Fritz and LNB. All right, all right. That's, uh, that's a good answer. Thank you and congratulations for the good results. You're welcome. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Anand, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Okay. Sir, uh, you know, uh, I've been attending your concourse for the last uh, two quarters, and what I learned from you is that your reviews are actually decided by the project, right? The project you signed up in the quarter. Okay. So, I would like to know, is the uh, home lighting business exception to these things? Because when I look, look at your uh, uh, Qtika investor presentation, right? The number is shot up from 8 CR to almost 28 CR. Okay. Almost 3.5 times. So, can home we... Home lighting. Home lighting, yeah. So, uh, can we expect this number to be shooting up from here or uh, is it kind of a one-time or not kind of thing? Okay. Uh, thank you for asking this question. Uh, there are there are different businesses what Focus is doing. Okay. Retail, home, and infra. Infra and outdoor. So, when it comes to retail, we have certain pipelines where we are assured that there is a steady business. We get... We have an idea like this quarter, okay, Reliance is doing this much business, uh, Tata's are doing this much business, Madura or Arvin, whatever, okay, or automobile industry. When it comes to home, home, we just started way back in 2019. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the reason uh, why we were heavily invested in last two years, the uh, effect has gone only in home, in developing new technologies in developing new products for home vertical because there is a huge potential and home is a complete unorganized industry in our country. Large players, they don't give technical products, they give commodities. Companies who give technical products, they are all European brands. Okay, they are uh, 3x, 4x uh, as compared to focus in terms of pricing. The idea and the reason why you see growth is, is purely because of the amount of expansion what we are doing, the amount of traction what we are getting because of our technology. And because of this too, we are now going aggressively in opening experience centers. This numbers will keep growing uh, over a period of time. Today, we don't even have 0.1% of the market share in home. When I'm talking about, I'm talking about overall home industry in terms of the area, the segment where we are, which is middle class, higher middle class and rich class, there also we don't have even a percentage of the total market share. So, there is an immense potential what we see in home and if we can expand this way aggressively, every year open five, four to five, four to five experience centers, go to tire two cities, where the money is, money is, the, the, the real money is not in cities like Bombay. But the real money comes from areas like Surat, Ahmedabad, or Chandigarh, Hyderabad. Those are the areas, Guntur, Vizag. Those are the areas, but you don't need everywhere. You need to have, for example, if you have Hyderabad, you can cover complete Telangana and, uh, uh, and it's fine. It doesn't matter. People will come and buy from there. People will come for the technology there. So, that's how we are planning. Like, we open it in all the cities. At least tier one and tier two cities. We cover those tier two cities, and then we are looking at a vertical, which is becoming a very strong corridor, which will take three to four years time. Yeah, correct. So, one quick follow-up question on the home lighting front. So, you know, should I see this business as something? You know, I go to a local shop and buy, let's say, Philips and Apple's bulbs. Is it that kind of business, or do you sell your products only through some designers or any, you know? Okay. Yeah, I, I very clearly specified that uh, there are two two types of business. One is what Philips and Philips, Cisco, Havels, all those companies do it. We are not into that business of bulbs and panels and tube lights. Mm-hmm. We are into professional technical lighting. And uh, where we can traction is people who understand lighting, professionals like architects, interior designers, lighting consultants, people who are worried about their health. What are the negative effects of light on their on the on human health? They talk to us. We say we have patent. What patent do we have? We have patents wherein LEDs. Very few people uh, know that LEDs can have a negative impact on human health. 
Okay. And this is where this is where we come into picture. So the traction is not because our pictures are beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the traction is because we, we take care of this area. Why we are called a technical lighting company? Because of this this trend of art. Uh, last time we saw the receivables at around 52 crores, uh, payables at around 20, giving us a net receivable of around 32 crores, which is almost equal to the money raised by our equity dilution a few months prior to that. Could you update us about the receivables and payables as of quarter three right now? Okay, one second. And did you just, uh, more I, I, to, to summarize it, we have to understand there are a lot of large projects where we are bidding and we are taking it. Government projects are the payments come only after the completion of the project. Okay. Okay, so, so the, if you are talking about the receivable, which have been, which has shot up, it's purely of the large single size volume of the government. When execution, once the execution is done, supply is done and execution is done, then we receive our payment. So that is a question. Okay. Uh, yeah. That was, and also, uh, what is the updated status of the numbers on the balance sheet right now? So, as of now, since we have not published the balance sheet, I still give you the numbers also. So, receivables, uh, 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 payables are now at 35 crores. Okay. And the receivables are at around uh, 32 crores. Sorry, one second. One second, sorry. 70 crores, 70.52 crores, receivables. 70.52, all right. Great. Uh, so, as we mentioned briefly in the earlier con calls, that the company has built discounting facilities available from public sector banks. Uh, are we using these facilities currently? So, we have only with LNT as of now. Uh, we have with LNT and build discounting can be done only for railway projects. Only railway, all right. So, are the other verticals, are we uh, starting? Uh, no, for, for example, when we did Delhi Airport, okay, which was a large project, which was 18 crores, mm -hmm. we have discounted with LNT. Yeah. But other government projects are, are uh, uh, other government projects, we don't have those type of facilities. Okay. Neither the bank gave. Are we? Uh, pardon me? I didn't get you. The bank. Neither the bank gives build discounting facility on government projects. It's only a railway. Okay, okay. And when we are working with LNT, so LNT has got a build discounting process with them, and that's why we build discount with them. Whenever we are working with LNT, so when it comes to Bombay Airport, for example, and if we if we get that order, okay, we can build discount it. So it is not affecting our working capital because LNT LNT is the buyer, not Adani. Adani is not the buyer. Yes. So for infra vertical and railway vertical, we are covered as for building counting. Only when we are working with LNT LNT and railway. Okay. But if you are working with Kampuji Palanji or if you are working with Tata, okay, they don't build discounted. Okay. Or the even bank don't build discounted. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, am I right on this? Yeah, yeah absolutely right. Sir. We are not utilizing only for LNT, no one else as of now. All right. Uh, so, what is the? Um, could you give us an estimate on the net receivables to sales uh, target beyond which the company might uh, start facing some growth issues? No, that is not possible because uh, we have this uh, primary process of collecting payments. And so, in retail, we are strong in retail, and retail we ensure that we receive payments on time. As for our uh, billing is done, we have been the timelines, and we have strong control over the payments. So, uh, growth is not an issue. This tool is average 32. They are more interested in knowing the timeline. So, the retail is somewhere between average 30 to 45 days. Unorganized sector, retail is 100% in advance. Home is 100% in advance. Okay. Home, there is not a single business that happens before we receive 100% payment. There are very few businesses 
in in home where where for example if a client knows or the designer knows or very well then the credit goes up to 5 to 10 days or 15 days it is only in fra okay where that is a credit line it's not actually a credit line the in fra the credit is extended purely because the term the go it's a government term when you are working with government or where wherever you are working with large companies like apuji or tata or lnt normally the payment terms is 90 days very only lnt gives the benefit that you can discount with lnt itself so we are not discounting it with a bank we are discounting it with lnt so coming back to your question whether we are will be facing working capital issue uh, today or tomorrow to based on if this three verticals are equally growing with infra then we are not facing it if we are not growing this three verticals and we are just growing infra then we might face working capital uh, problems let's say if infra becomes 1000 crore and this is all 20 and 30 crores or 50 crores and of course we we'll face it got it yeah but then there are other ways uh, of doing business so that is when when it happens we will find out solution and we will do it but we don't see today we don't see even export for that matter like export we get payment uh, well in advance or or uh, or in 30 to 60 days time so it's not a problem and we are working with corporates so our money is secure for so, and margins are very healthy today in the industry the margins are so healthy for us that uh, we i don't see uh, in near future that we will have a working capital issue and there are ways and means when the business is growing there are ways and means to raise uh, money if you have business in hand and if you have a problem with working capital there are ways and means to raise money yeah yeah okay uh, uh so uh, concluding that discussion uh, i come on to the next uh, sorry to interrupt mr devdeep may we please request you to rejoin the queue as there are several participants for their turn okay as well, as well. thank you thank you participants are requested to restrict their questions to two per participants if you have any follow up questions <coughs> please rejoin the queue how much time we uh, we are left with uh so we have few questions and the time is around 7 minutes okay uh next question is from the line of jayshit ladani so an individual investor please proceed uh hello everyone uh, i hope i am audible yes very much yeah so uh what is the outcome uh, now if if you can give us some number we already said now the receivable is around about uh, 70 crores sir and is that right yes 70 crores right now i just said 70 crores as on 31st december 2023 it is 70 crores okay and uh, what is the biggest segment out of it I guess it's uh, home automation, home or infra. Out of seventy. No, no. Mainly infra and home is hundred percent. Most of the time, it is. This is what I answered before also. Just a minute back. Okay, my request is that please don't repeat the question because there are a lot of participants uh, waiting in the queue. Okay, this is the same thing we answered that home is most of the time side one. Okay. Very rare occasion that home payments are outstanding. It is infra, mainly infra. and sometimes retail but if it is an organic segment of retail which is also very large term it is 100% in advance so somewhere there is a good balance uh, for working capital so what is an average ticket size for uh, one ticket of home like uh, in your case i already answered this question when i started this conversation okay again i'm telling plan it's my request please uh don't ask repetitive question because there are a lot of participants waiting in the line the average ticket size is somewhere between 15 15 lakhs to a crore or it sometimes it even goes to 2 to 3 crores also it depends on the size of the home it is very difficult to say the average but it, it ranges from this 15 to 2 crore 3 crore okay and and then this this uh, includes the let's say two type three cities and uh, like bombay Uh, no, Bombay ticket size is much lower as compared to Tier Two and Tier uh, uh, Three cities. Bombay, you don't have big houses, my friend. Bombay, uh, a rich man will buy two thousand square feet, three thousand square feet. Whereas if you go to uh, Hyderabad, if you go to Secunderabad, if you go to Vijayapur, Guntur, or Delhi, Chandigarh, their houses are thirty, fifty thousand lakh square feet. Pura Dhanabad, for that matter. 
for for the insta the the we are talking about that uh, airport it's the existing airport not the navi mumbai airport we are talking about right eh? we are talking about navi mumbai navi mumbai okay the new airport which is building up. yeah navi mumbai the first phase is opening by august this is the information what we have got uh from lnt and adani that they will open the first and that is why the they are they are uh, making the process much more faster Okay, second, third, and fourth phase is still extend for uh, for coming two years or three years. I don't know. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Ashok Velik, who is an retail investor. Please proceed. Hello. Yes, please. Yeah, sir. Already my question is, uh, was answered, but I have continuation to that. You already said. Uh, we are the company dealing with uh, professional uh, lighting and all. Uh, we are not in uh, business to the customer, no sir. We are not in a business of trade. Uh, trade is something what Philips, Cisco, Hewell, Elon, oh. companies, Panasonic, they are doing. But we are looking at another line wherein uh, we will be doing OEM. Okay, uh, the contract is still not signed, uh, but we are talking to a very large group. Uh, and we will be OEM to them uh, it is something which we are thinking of whether we should do it or not but it is on a very advanced level talk once it if something happens something corporate is happening we will be the first guys to inform the exchange and to you guys in next thing is that all okay sir any planning about coming to market also business to customer this is yes yeah. for that also we are talking to so this is what i said in my uh, first 10 minutes of presentation we are we are in talk With the, uh, we are in talk with various companies, and we have identified a uh, few companies. And one of the company which we see as Apple of trade, okay, which is very very disruptive, and which we we consider with all the limitations we have in trade segment. That is B two C. Uh, those that company purely because of the technology, because of the product design, okay, this they are they can be disruptive, and we are seriously thinking. To go or to have some sort of a tie up or a yeah buyout. Okay, maybe another one year. It will means any progress. Another one year it will take much faster than that. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Some positive news will give you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will take this as the last question for the day. I would now like to hand the conference over to Ms. Chandni Chandey for the closing comments. Thank you, everyone, for joining the conference call of Focus Lighting and Fixtures Limited. If you have any queries, you can write to us at research at the rate kiran advisory dot com. Once again, thank you for joining the conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, so uh, uh, I'll just take one minute. Uh, there are a lot of questions. See, most of the time, what happens in investor calls is there are a lot of questions which are unanswered, and there are a lot of people in queue. So, it's my humble request, people who have some questions and who are uh, whose questions are not being answered, okay, uh, can contact Kirin directly, and we can have one-to-one -one call also. I have absolutely no problem in entertaining that. So, please feel free to drop an email or contact Kirin directly, and. As as time permits, whenever there is a free time, we can uh, with both of uh, both the individuals, we can have a call on the same. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. On behalf of Kirin Advisors, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.